I want your insight on why you're going out of your way to argue this, uh, you know, arguably unpopular cause. But I want to set the table with something that was said by one of the brothers at trial. Listen to this. And did he try to anally penetrate you with something else? He did. And what was it? it he raped me. I just told him that I didn't want to do this and that it hurt me. And he said that he didn't mean to hurt me. And he loved me. Rosie, yeah. why do yeah. you invest uh, sympathy and understanding that this was about abuse and it somehow mitigates the murder? Well, I don't say it mitigates, but it definitely explains. And as a child who grew up in a house that was unsafe for children, I related a lot to the boy's testimony. And in 1989, which is when the murder happened, I was very interested in it. And in 96, when my show came on the air, I got a letter from Lyle Menendez, who said, I heard your comments about my case and I wanted to thank you. And I'm sorry that I feel I know why you have compassion for us. And I'm sorry if it's the truth. And he was right, it was the truth. I grew up in a household that, you know, was unsafe for children. And what happens within a family when that kind of secrecy and lies and abuse all happen on top of each other, it becomes like a powder cake. And on that night, when the incident happened and they murdered their parent, that was uh, a very big deal. And it was the end of a 20 year prison sentence for those boys. Lyle was abused till he was eight. At eight years old, he told his cousin. Somehow it stopped, but unbeknownst to Lyle, the father went on and abused the brother and told the brother, if you tell Lyle, I will kill you both. When someone has control of your um, life in that capacity, you don't feel there's any other options. OK, so help us understand that. And then I'll go back to Mark about what the legal sufficiency would be. Um, so to the uninitiated, um, people will say, well, you, they, but they were old enough to leave. Uh, they weren't well, children. They were seven. Anymore. They were 17. They were 17 and 21. I have children. I have five children, Mark, uh, Chris, as you know, uh, I'm a mother of five children. And my oldest boy is 28, and he still needs his mother just as much as any other of my children when they were little. And 21 and 17 are children. They're children. They're not able to vote, one of them. One of them had been horrifically abused in a manner where there was photographic evidence. And everyone in their family, except for one relative, supports them and acknowledges that they knew something was happening, but they didn't quite know what to do, which often happens in a family. And I understand that that night it came to an end. Five days before the incident, Lyle's mother told Lyle and Eric that she was aware what the father was doing the entire time. Lyle found out five days before the killing that his brother had suffered the same horrors that he, he did. And as 21 and 17 year old kids, they needed it to stop. There was suicidal ideation going on for the younger brother, Eric. And if the younger brother, Eric was a girl, Lyle Menendez would be a hero because he was protecting his little sister from being raped by the father. Well, you know what? Fathers rape boys too. And in 1989, when they killed their parents, we were not ready to accept that as a country and as a culture. We made a mistake. Roy coming out from Menudo and saying that Jose Menendez raped him is the evidence and proof that is needed 
in order to either get them resentenced for manslaughter, of which time served would be appropriate, or a new trial should the L.A. Mm. people of Los Angeles feel that these boys for 32 years who have done nothing in prison to get a violent code against them. These two boys who suffered 20 years in their house and 30 years in prison have served enough time. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.